हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वाइल्ड लोब रोबोटिक एंड ऑटोमेशन टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू एन एक्साइटिंग टॉपिक बिल्डिंग ए वाई फाई सिंग डिजिटल क्लॉक यूजिंग एन ई एस थर्टी टू एंड ए टी एम वन सिक्स थ्री सेवन फोर डिजिट सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्ले दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज एन ऑसम वे टू एक्सप्लोर वाई फाई कनेक्टिविटी वाई फाई टाइम प्रोटोकॉल एंड एल ई डी डिस्प्ले इंटीग्रेशन वेदर यू आर ए बिगिनर और एन एक्सपीरियंसड मेकर यू विल फाइंड इट फन एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव लेट एस स्टार्ट विद सर्किट सेटअप Here is the ESP32 board and TM1637 module. VCC pin is connected to VIN of ESP32 and ground pin is connected to ground of ESP32. DIO pin is connected to D4 and CLK pin is connected to D5 of ESP32. With the wiring complete, let us move on to the programming. I have already prepared the code and I will walk you through it step by step. First, let us look at the essential libraries. Wi-Fi.h, Time.h, TM1637 Display.h. Now let us install TM1637 Display Library. Go to Library Manager and type TM1637. This is the search result. Let us install this first one. Click on Install. Okay, library has been installed. Next, we define the pin for TM1637 Display. CLK pin is connected to 5 and DIO pin is connected to 4. Now we create TM1637 display object called display using CLK and DIO pin. SSID and password for your Wi-Fi network. Replace this with your own credential. NTP server is set to the pool.ntp.org, a global NTP server for fetching accurate time. GMT offset sec is set to 19800 second which is 5 hours and 30 minutes for India standard time adjust this for your own time zone okay daylight offset sec is 0 since IST does not use daylight saving in the setup function we start the serial monitor at 115 to 00 baud rate for debugging Set the display brightness to maximum using set brightness 0x0f. Now call the connect Wi-Fi function to connect the Wi-Fi. Initialize the NTP client with config time function to sync the time using our offset and server. Finally call the print local time function to test if you are getting the time correctly. Now let us look at the connect Wi-Fi function. This connect our ESP32 to Wi-Fi. We print the SSID to the serial monitor, then call Wi-Fi dot begin function with the SSID and password. A while loop check if we are connected using Wi-Fi dot status not equal to WL connected. While waiting, we print the dot. to the serial monitor and show a cool animation on the display inside the loop we use display dot show number deck function to briefly show a zero at each of four digit position creating a loading effect each zero display for 150 millisecond before clearing once connected we print connected and show a zero with leading zero on the display this function ensure we are online before fetching the time the print local type function is where we fetch the current time we create a tm structure called tm info to store time data the get local time function fills the structure with data from ntp server if it fail we print an error if successful we print the full date and time in readable format like day month and years and time minutes and second we also print our in 12 hour format using percent i and determine if it is am or pm by checking if the hour is greater than or equal to 12 this function is mainly for debugging but it helps us confirm the time is syncing correctly now let us go to the fun part displaying the time on tm1637 display the blink colon function handle this it takes three parameters hour and minute to display so colon is a boolean to toggle the colon between the hours and minute in loop function we check if wifi is still connected if not we call connect wifi function to reconnect fetch the current time into time info if it fails we show four time eight on the display to indicate an error convert the hour to 12 hour format if hours is 0 means midnight we set it to 12 call blink colon to display the time and toggling the colon state boolean every 500 millisecond to make the colon blink 
This creates a smooth real-time clock with blinking colon effect. Now code is ready. Let us select the board. Go to tools and click on board ESP32 and select do 8 ESP32 dev kit v1. Now again go to tools. Click on port. Select the board related port in your computer. Okay. Now click on upload to upload the code. Yeah, code has been uploaded and you can see the time is printing and that's it friend I hope you enjoyed this project if you found this video is helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share thanks for watching and I will see you in next one